guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 5 of Senior Girl. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> Amane, what the hell? Cody, get off my shoes. Well, shit. <laughs> So are we meeting that girl finally? And who the heck is that? But no. Oh, that's his little sister. Okay. Yeah, I think fortune telling and horoscopes are really interesting. But 50 out of 50, how much you want to bet that really works? What's up, Adrian? Or, you know, the newest one. Let's talk about the freaking butt crack. Don't ask me where I got that. I was, you know, I was watching a show called Lady Gang on TV. And this woman was like, yeah, if I look at your butt crack, this is how I know how long you'll live. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Right? I mean, good look at her hair. I mean, it's nice, though, but, like, honestly. <laughs> What's up, Hanako? Of course, Coach will be here. <laughs> Nanako, this is so fucking adorable. No. Nah. Watch this thing be like a hundred percent. Oh, 
which means <laughs> damn. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Aww. Of course. <laughs> yeah, she goes to your school. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, oh my God, Nanako. You're so freaking precious. Well, you better cancel your date with her. See, AJ, you say that, and then by the time we get to the end of this episode, you were literally going to believe us. Because that's, like, some people also dealing with the fact is, like, people don't think ghosts that are real, um, evil spirits, demons, and stuff. No, because if you grab into each other, you're going to fall. So fucking cute. That's the money. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, she covers it a lot. <laughs> yeah. about how freaking cute that was like literally them going rollerblading like oh my god i haven't been rollerblading since like freaking middle school it was so cute but like honestly i thought that once nanako grabbed on the at that they would have fell i mean it would have been cute but then yeah somebody would have gotten hurt and been like oh my god are you okay but, like yeah i'm fine <laughs> but like at least they're having fun i mean it was a date and it was a kid and they ever like oh my god <laughs> I wish we kind of got to see a little bit more of Koto in this episode, even though it really just focused on AG, Nanako, Amane, and um, Toa. But yeah, I think she would have been a really good, like, make that episode a little bit better, even though she was, like, there for, like, three minutes and then she was gone. Because she's like, no, 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 take my place. You need to know how compatible you two are for each other and stuff. And obviously... It's just there. The relationship and the love that they have for each other, it's just... <clears throat> Only Nanako will go through a rebellious phase, and it would be so freaking cute. Like, I, I can't imagine how it's gonna be, but she's just gonna... <laughs> she's gonna... No, no, no. No, I think I have, like, a prediction. Remember how when Micah and Blenas was going through, like, the BDS... <laughs> Everybody was trying to figure out, like, what her thing was. And, um, they were like, oh, yeah, try on this, like, SMN <laughs> outfit. And then she was so dominant and stuff. <laughs> and she told him what this but she had the damn whip. And she was like, give me a chair. And he was like, okay. So he got her on the regular chair. And she was like, what? She was like, no, you're the chair. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't think it's gonna be anything like that. I mean, if it was, like, <laughs> dead ass, I would be, like, dead with the avatar. But <laughs> I feel like she's going to just be, like, this cute bad girl. Like, she's still, she's a cute, adorable little thing. So precious and stuff. And then she's just gonna be this cute little badass thing. And I don't know. It's gonna be funny, but then it's also gonna look cute, because when someone who is really cute and adorable tries to become this badass girl, she, or he or she, still ends up looking cute and just adorable. She's like, oh, look at them trying to be badass. They're like, mm, look at her being a cute little rebel. They're like, oh my god. That's what she's gonna do next week. It's just gonna be so <laughs> it's gonna be so freaking adorable but I'm like oh my god she's so fucking precious you go baby <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I can't <laughs> I mean like what is AJ gonna say about it I mean he might say like oh my god she's even cuter now I mean how like when she took off her freaking sweater like, I was thinking, I was like, oh my god, yeah, she's like, like, hold on, she's just wearing nothing but a bra, so oh my god, like, immediately put the shirt down, I mean, her, um, sweater down, but no, she was smart, always wear a shirt underneath other things, so just in case you get hot, immediately take it off. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of Send Me a Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially next Friday for episode 6. Bye, guys!